This is Dead Island Definitive Edition. We're checking out the first Dead Island. We checked out Riptide. And now we're taking a look at how the original Dead Island is kind of faring here with the FPS boost. So you don't need to do anything. It's just automatically applied. We're getting 1080 at 60 FPS with the support of Auto HDR in this one. As I double check that, yep, Auto HDR. And this is an interesting zombie RPG cooperative experience where you're on this kind of beautiful location trying to escape. Or, well, first kind of figuring out what exactly is going on. It's, it's open world, but it does feel a little bit more condensed in a linear sort of fashion as you move through different areas. This one does have uneven gamer scores, so kind of keep that in mind, which is strangely enough something I actually need to... To fix up at this point because of my venture into the uh, adrenaline filled experience that is Mad Max. But yeah, this game feels infinitely better at 60 FPS. I remember when the Definitive Editions first kind of came out, and I was just like, you know, it's it looks way better, but um, you know, what's what's going on with this this uh, this frame rate and stuff? Why why is it so low? And now we get to have the much much better looking game running at, at 60 you know, I think that kind of improves things you know sort of like phenomenally it, it really is quite a benefit in regards to making the game come across as better in, in so many different ways it's it's definitely quite a treat to experience it at this you know fluidity level which is a lot of fun so this one and and Riptide are both like very interesting titles you know um, this is the first one, and, and Riptide is a bit of an, an expansion and or a sequel to that experience of the characters. So I do suggest actually, you know, kind of playing both of them if you want to have the full story. And uh, yeah, it can actually be a, a fairly fun time as you go and you do missions and objectives, and you try to figure out what exactly is going. What what mission am I doing right now? Where I need to go inside of that house? But anyway, or inside the the creepy resort area like i was saying there are a, a wide range of different like missions you can do it's it's an rpg so there's like side missions and different characters you can help and different places you can go and, and different challenges you can do as you fight the zombies you get like customized different weapons uh i don't really have anything too great dangerous bad okay let's do that and you can pick up a lot of uh, weapons and stuff off the ground as you explore the, the Dead Island experience and level up your character. It is a lot of fun if you can actually play this with others too. I think that benefits uh, your experience a lot. I thought this had full health. It does not, okay. This crappy nail plank. Oh, wow. My, oh my. Feeble home blade. That's not very good either. Got some brass knuckles. Just wondering if I have any inventory items. But yeah, like I kind of, you know, I rolled through this back in the day when I was doing this uh, on like the 360 and stuff. So it's it, it's kind of nice to be, I guess you could say, revisiting this one at this point, seeing it all souped up in that, which is nice. And, you know, there's so many different things you can do and, and so many different things you can see. And it really is quite delightful. So that's a gamer score. Yeah, my, my achievement, uh, my gamer score ratio is just going to be messed. Okay, level 10. Let's get rid of the uh, nail plank. But yeah, I, I do think that the game is significantly improved with this FPS boost. It, it's highly, you know, appreciated that we get to you know, kind of enjoy this quality, which is nice, and that, you know, there's no real negative to anything. You just get to have a, a better level to it. Are we actually going in this hotel? This is not going to be good. Uh, faster loading. It's got a neat selection of different areas that you go through, different chapters for the missions, and like I said, you get to meet the locals. Uh, you can help, you know, people that are still alive, and of course, fight against the undead. Hello there. Totally friendly guy. But this is where we kind of like, you know, almost escape from and it's weird to be back here. Heavy grain effect on this area, which I think is odd. But yeah, it's definitely a neat RPG experience. And like I had mentioned, you know, a lot of elements of like modding and getting better weapons in order to do more damage. Uh, you can explore many different sorts of like, um, you know, cool tropical places here as you 
fight the undead. There's some special infected. Each of the characters has a different like set of skills. So I guess if you care about that element of RPGs, you can go back multiple times and play the different you know, characters to get an idea of what they can do skill-wise, which is kind of neat. I mean, I kind of like th this character because he's got like knife-throwing things that I never really bother with these days, but yeah, it's just kind of cool abilities. Sounds good, my friend. But yeah, you basically kind of awaken after like a crazy night of partying. Like each of the characters has like a different sort of story going on, right? They've got different tales. And you just kind of like awaken, you're like, what is going on here? After the party and you're, you're trying to survive and, and deal with this like messed up place. And this game had a crazy trailer to it as well when it first came out. Yeah, if you didn't know about that, that's what made this game so intensely well um, looked forward to. And I don't know why it didn't really hit the expectations of many. I thought it was kind of fun and well done. I, I don't know. And then coming back here, you know, they've touched it up. They, they made it a little bit better. Having the, the fluidity, I think, you know, at this point really makes this uh, a well worth it sort of revisit if you've been kind of holding off for whatever reason. Uh, I think now it's like a fine way to kind of see what it has to offer. Hello there. You made it this far. Unfortunately, this is as far as you go. The security system has locked the doors. I can still help you get through to the parking lot. But first, you gotta promise me something. Now trust this guy. Trying to make his way here when he ran into a mob of those, those things. If you find Ken, I'll tell you how to get to the parking garage. Right? You got a bad feeling about this. We all know how Ken's gonna be, am I right? And it'd be like some poor bloke dead on the ground. Oh, there's collectibles and stuff too, and there's some like narrative missions, or narrative cinematic moments and stuff. The game offers uh, really distinct locations, <laughs> like I mentioned. Like, especially those sewers later on are kind of nuts. Absolutely kind of nuts. And you, you really get out of it what you put into it as you like go and explore like the full scope of this this environment. Yeah. Don't worry, there's just lots of zombies. It's not a big deal. Uh, this is one of those more linear segments. Uh, at least it shows off a lot of action, I guess. And you, you can choose to kind of kill everybody. Uh, obviously, you know, finding others you can matchmake pretty fast if you want to come across with others into a game. Um, sometimes you might want to play by yourself. You, you do it your way. I've always found that I've had more fun moments kind of, you know, doing this with others than playing with other people. But since it's late, I thought we'd just like you know, kind of do like a quick solo thing instead of having to find other people. That's actually what really messed up my uh, <laughs> achievements last time was doing the, the solo thing on level 6. That might be a good replacement for the knuckles and all the double blade. Yeah, let's do this one. Yeah, you gotta kind of constantly be getting new stuff because everything breaks down. Ooh, damn, that was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, wow, okay. That gym is not too hard to get. Three. Huh. And then a, a workshop thing so you can upgrade and fix stuff. Uh, what's really broken? Everything looks like it's actually decent. Tiring hammer. A reliable machete. I'm just not high enough level for it. Sucks to suck. A crowbar. Uh, repair. Yeah, sure. Everything else looks good. Tiring hammer, dangerous bat. Why are these things all? Hmm, tiring hammer, dangerous bat. Well, let's fix everything so we have it to use, right? You broke my streak of headshots. Oh, I get it. The achievement is three headshots in a row. Ow. Sorry, let me just get up and kind of move around. Alright, this is a bit of a situation. You 
gotta get a stronger weapon. <laughs> you kind of wade through the water, but it, it looks way better is the biggest thing, like, over the original 360 version. And now you can enjoy that, the fluidity on top of that, and I think that's kind of delightful. Great resort, am I right? Definitely filled with a lot of same things. So many things to scavenge, so many things to do. It's just kind of nice to actually be back playing the uh, the Dead Island titles. I kind of want to work through more Riptide stuff. That might be fun. Ow! I do not appreciate that one bit getting clubbed. So wait, was it feasting on this other zombie? It's kind of messed up, isn't it? Just a little bit. Hmm. Oh, and this hotel revisits actually really cool too. If you've played uh, the beginning of the game, when you come back here, like I'm, I'm am right now, uh, you get to kind of see certain things again, and it's it's kind of it's, it's sort of neat. At least I think so. Wonder if we could do like headshots with a different weapon better. Mm, maybe not. Need like a blade. You know, to be like Blade, because he's hunting vampires, but I'm hunting zombies. And there are some secrets, but like I said, a lot of this feels kind of linear, despite having like an open world sort of element to it. Why? There's a lot of zombies this way, my friend. Okay, if I could uh, move here without getting staggered, that would be... Phenomenal. Ah, crap. Oh, nope, still alive. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna, like, die here as soon as I move. Zombies can be vicious, what can I say? Especially with the movement system, it's not, like, necessarily super smooth when it comes to getting around. What do we do? Weapon durability? What are we working towards? Throwing damage, firearms damage. Critical hit chance with one-handed weapons? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Lot of zombies. Oh, come on. Gotta use your stamina sparingly. Hello there. Uh, but this this game is actually quite cool though, seriously, and, and the frame rate boost makes it kind of feel like a a real proper sort of experience, you know, just in terms of having it run well, um, having these these open world type games and the co-op and all that. It's it's really quite marvelous. Challenge complete, nice. Weak diving knife. Uh, there's another kind of loot we'll find. Did everybody die? continue on with our objective. Maybe getting some snacks along the way. Yeah, lots of stuff to loot here. Let's kind of work it through the mission. Eh, might as well. We're here, right? Yeah. Uh, what do we got here? Yeah. The apocalypse is always fun. And yes, there are little tiny, like, messed up like little buggy type things I guess you could say in this it's kind of half the charm I do wonder if we'll ever get the sequel I assume it's gonna be like different characters and stuff but I'm mostly just kind of curious about what that'll actually be assuming that ever actually does come out wow that uh, puny stick oh, a puny stick oh yeah the break thing Gotta get that perfect. Hello there. Oh, there's nobody. <laughs> yeah, this hotel did not go on well. You're gonna be a zombie, man. I don't know. I kind of want to let this guy just die. What do you think? Should we just uh, let Ken perish? Probably gonna be like a zombie when we get back, right? Yeah. 
And it cooled this way. <gasps> it's the gym. I think that's the gym. No, maybe I was looking at it too fast. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that guy. Anything else cool in here? Ooh, collectible. Never gonna find them all, let's be real. Hello, thug. It was nice to see you. Have a good day on the apocalypse. Like, if we're just, we could leave that thug right here. I think you're just a junkie. Okay, should we just, like, maybe we should just carry this guy here? Somebody just... Yeah, okay. I think... Didn't seem like they wanted to die there. <laughs> oh, we gotta kill every zombie. In the interest of time. Can we cool back there? Oh, probably not. Oh wow, that's a lot of... Oh, the undead. Like a steam room situation going on here. Oh, we're almost here. Oh, there's the server room. Can't we just like open these? It sounds like a lot of responsibility for just me to do here. Oh, that is? Okay. Feeble homemade knife. Hmm. I'll take it. Hi there. I don't think we really need to... Well, we should probably repair our really powerful crippling crowbar there. Hello. Hotel security system is fried. Some of the security cams are deactivated, and some of the key corridors have been blocked, including the one to the parking garage. It needs to be rebooted. You do it. You can reset it manually in a server room. Rebooting it. Yeah, blah blah blah. Do this. Do that. Oh, we gotta start here. Oh, we got a lot of uh, crazy things we're gonna have to deal with here, aren't we? Oh, crap. These thugs are the worst. <laughs> Knocks me out of the room. Yeah, they're like the tank enemies of Dead Island. They're the not so fun guys. There we go. Cardio is important, you know. And that's an important achievement to get. Just trying to finish off this mission, man. These are a lot of suited business guys, or suited business guys that died out here. Oh, God. Okay.
take these people out. Let's reset this. We're bringing this hotel back. I mean, it's actually technically a very safe spawn if you were able to move all the infected from it. Which is a lot of guests and a lot of enemies. Hello there. You bloody made it? Good. The door to the parking lot is unlocked. And a large part of the system is up and running again. I'm just worried about the power in the parking lot. Uh-huh. I'll use the door. <laughs> oh, this is that part. Oh, yeah, okay. I think this is that part, right? No? I thought you could open this up and then it would be like the part of the hotel where the family is. Huh. Maybe I was mistaken. Well, and what do we got here? Nothing good, I'm afraid. Hey, that's the parking garage? Anything down that way? No? Nope. Okay. Let's just, uh, let's, let's just get by these guys. Is this the truck we're trying to get into? Oh, crap. This is why it's more fun in co-op. Okay. Sneak by these guys now. There we go. Whew, what a fun Dead Island adventure. It's always a great time for the definitive Dead Island experience. Lots to see, lots to do.